How is it with different lifetimes? Is it only distraction to look into different lifetimes that you've had? Or can it actually benefit your journey? Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Sylvia Salo and I help lightworkers and starseeds to remember who they are. And in this video, I want to talk about different lifetimes. Can it actually benefit your soul's growth to remember different lifetimes? The answer is yes, but. So here it depends on what kind of information you are looking for and what's your true intention. Because when it comes to different lifetimes, you need to have a roadmap. You need to understand it's a very complex thing and you need to know how to navigate the energy of it. Because if you are not sure what you are looking for, it will not give you the benefits. So, as always, your intention matters. So if your intention is to go into different lifetimes just out of curiosity to see if you were some famous person from the history, then the ego will likely give you that information, not your soul. And it will not benefit you. So the intention here should be always to expand your consciousness. You are looking for something that will benefit you to grow on that soul level. And you don't care what that information is. From your end, you are not trying to manipulate it somehow to see something or to go there to get confirmation for your theory about what happened or who you are. You need to go there as that empty vessel. Now, all those different lifetimes are connected to the present moment. Also the future and the past, it's all connected to that present. And so, you are connected to your ancient lifetimes. You are connected to your future lifetimes. You are also connected to your lives taking place on different dimensions. All of that energy is moving through the now. It's connected to that all present moment. And so when you remember different lifetimes, you are basically accessing more of who you are. Your energy is basically reaching out to those different times and you are expanding your soul's energy and your consciousness, which will grow you as nothing else, really. Again, if you know what you are looking for, we don't do these things just for fun. We do it because uh, we want to remember who we are on the deepest level. When you go into different lifetimes with the right intentions, it will give you so much. Clearly, it will help you to understand certain mistakes you have been repeating lifetime after lifetime. And quite likely, you might be still repeating them now in this life. So when you see it, actually, it's a powerful shift in your consciousness just by realizing it you start to uh, be aware of the mistakes you might be making now. And it gives you that, you know, awareness and power of decision to really change it because you don't want to continue repeating the same mistakes. Another thing is you will remember lessons and things that you have already mastered. That's why, you know, in this life, this applies especially for the light workers and starseeds, but also for other souls on this planet. We are not here to learn new things. We are here to remember. We have already practiced all of it. We have already mastered many lessons. And so now in this life, you don't have to experience them again. You just look into that lifetime and likely you need to look into series of lifetimes because they are connected through certain energy. You cannot reach just one life separately because it will not give you that overall picture. But anyway, when you understand the lesson, you just remember it and you can ignite the same level of mastery you have achieved in different lifetimes. It's similar as if you would go through your material from a high school, you will quickly get back into it because you have already studied it. If you were present at school, though, <laughs> that's an important requirement also on the soul's journey. And so when you 
go into different lifetimes, you can definitely learn from those lessons. You remember them. You don't have to repeat the same mistakes. Another thing, you can help to find closure to important soul patterns your soul have been experiencing for thousands, even millions of years. You can bring that closure to that energy in this life. Actually, there is a great hope <laughs> in this whole, you know, on this whole planet and in the sector of the universe that this is exactly what we are going to choose. It's up to us. We have that free choice. We can choose to be unconscious or, or we can also be, bring closure to many source patterns and release them so that we don't have to continue recycling ourselves in the same energy life after life after life again. Another thing that going into different lifetimes will definitely help you with is to enhance your abilities, your gifts and your skills. So a couple of things happen when we go into different lifetimes. One is just by going to those different lifetimes, you have to be able to be in certain level of consciousness. This alone will start expanding your field much more. This alone will, you know, deepen and reactivate your abilities, your gift. Another thing, as you go into those different lifetimes where you had certain gifts, psychic gifts, fully open, the energy of it will go into your present self and it will start bringing your abilities, your gifts to the same levels. And then you can take it beyond that. That's again what we do in this life. We can integrate all those lessons and take those couple of steps or couple of quantum leaps beyond that. We don't have to like, you know, reach our highest life and get like stuck there. We can go beyond. That's also the point of this lifetime that we are now sharing here on this planet Earth. And so it will enhance your gifts, it will enhance your abilities and likely you will reawaken different skills that you had in the past. So you will suddenly know how to do many different things that are not related, you've never studied them in this life, but you will still know how to do them. Another thing that going into different lifetimes will really help you with is to understand your purpose. Now, we have many purposes, not only one. There are small purposes, purposes related to this life, then there are those that go across many lifetimes. And then there is also one like overall purpose. And as when you go into those different lifetimes, it will help you to get super clear on what your purpose is, because likely you'll see your soul kind of like doing similar things, life after life after life again, getting very clear in how to harness certain energy and how to channel it through you. And that is your purpose. And so it will help you to be conscious of this purpose. And then it will help you to step into it in this life as well. And because you have integrated those lessons, you have remembered them. You have learned from those past mistakes. You can take it beyond. You can take it further. So basically, you have more information available to you. But again, going into different lifetimes depends on your intention. It depends on your level of consciousness. And really, it depends who is guiding you into those different lifetimes as well. Because you can get, you know, you can access any kind of energy when you go into different lifetimes. Some of it can be really useful and beneficial and some of it can just serve the ego. So as always, it depends on the intention behind it. But if you feel like your soul is calling you to work with those different lifetimes, follow your soul's guidance, then it's the time for you to open up to this level of spirituality. It will enhance your life. So I hope you have enjoyed this video and if you did, please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.